Hello, welcome back to Animated Literacy. This is lesson number 33 from the Story, Song, and Action book. In our last lesson, we learned about Kimmy Kangaroo, and we learned that Kimmy Kangaroo likes to blow kisses. So to make her sound, we listen to the sound at the beginning of the word kiss, put our hand up in front of our mouth, pretend to blow a kiss, and go K for Kimmy Kangaroo. Now, if Kimmy Kangaroo were doing our puppy dog song, what would it sound like? Little puppy, he goes woof. Woof, woof. Kimmy's puppy, he goes coof, coof, coof. Now we also learned that Kimmy Kangaroo doesn't always spell her sound with a K. She can also spell it with a C. And we have another character who also spells the same sound with either key, C or K. And we'll be learning about Crazy Camel's story and her song just a little bit later. And when she makes her sound, she pretends to catch so we make a hand like this and we close it and go k. So it's the same sound whether you're blowing a kiss k, or whether you're catching. So if Kimmy Kangaroo were to do our little puppy song, it would sound like this. Little puppy, he goes woof, woof, woof. Crazy's puppy, he goes coof, coof, coof. Or another way to make that sound is by using both the C and the K. And so I do that one kind of like this. I, first I put my hand in Crazy Camel's shape and go K, and then I sort of end up with a blowing a kiss. So a CK would be like this. K. But it doesn't matter which way you make it, whether you go K or you go K or you go K. It's all the same sound. Okay, so let's practice some more of our letters with a little puppy dog song. And as we do these, we're going to start doing them faster and faster because if you're going to be a good reader, you have to be really fast at playing with sounds. So this is the way we practice to get there. So here's Hippie Hippo, with the harmonica going. So let's switch from the puppy dog to a froggy and see what happens. Little froggy, he goes ribbit, ribbit, ribbit. Hippie's froggy, he goes, show me harmonica. Hibbit, 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 hibbit. Hibbit. What happens if it's Sadie Seal's frog? Little froggy, she goes sibbit, sibbit, sibbit. For so for, we're surfing. Be sure you use your muscles because that's how we become strong readers. Sadie's froggy, she goes sibbit, 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 sibbit. What's Farley Fox doing? Here he is fishing. So if it's Farley's frog, what's it doing? Little froggy, he goes ribbit, ribbit, ribbit. Farley's froggy, he goes fibbit, 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 fibbit. So at first you can sing the whole song, then you can start to speed it up. And so now, as quickly as I move the cards, I want you to change the frog sound. So it goes fibbit, fibbit, fibbit. Now what's it doing? Nellie Newt's nibbling. Nibbit, nibbit, nibbit. Now what is it? Jenny Jaguar's juggling. Jibbit, jibbit, jibbit. Now what is it? Mimi Mermaid's moving that magic mop. Mibbit, mibbit, mibbit. Now here, we're looking a lot at the picture of the character. But when you read these sounds in a book, there's no character there. It's just a letter. So we're going to start shifting to where instead of looking at the letter or the character, we start looking at... The letter and so here I put a little picture to still give you a hint about what that sound is but mostly I want you to look at the letter but we can do the same activity so here's the sheep and what's the sheep saying ba ba but what's the sheep saying if the sheep is Polly Panda's sheep now what's he doing painting pa pa now he's going ma ma for me me mermaid ba ba or da da for Daisy Dragon, ra ra for Rosie Raccoon, and ta ta for Timmy Tiger. Now, later, we can do the same activity, but take away the character altogether and just do it with our letters. So here's our cowboy, and what's our cowboy saying? Yee ha! What's um, Crazy Camel's cowboy saying? Ki ka! And what is. Rosie Raccoon's cowboy saying, re-ra. 
And what is it for Timmy Tiger? Ti-ta. So those are just some ways that you can practice sounds over and over and over again in different ways so that when you come to a book, you can do a really good job of those sounds and, and read all the words in it. Well, today, because we studied Kimmy Kangaroo, we're going to be drawing a picture of an object that has Kimmy Kangaroo's sound and letter in it. And we're going to be talking about and drawing a picture of a mask. And here's a cat mask, and I can put it up and look through the eyes. And here's a yellow cat mask, and this one was a what? Red cat mask. Now, masks have been around a very long time. And these are some masks that were, have been used by people who live in, in different tribes and different groups and different societies for hundreds of years. And this is some that you might find way up in the north where it's cold in the ice and the snow. And these are some that you might find in Africa. And a lot of people, even artists today, get ideas from looking at those masks that people have been making for hundreds of years. Picasso was a very famous artist, and he looked at the masks that came from the groups in Africa, and he did a lot of copying of those masks, and that's how he created artwork that looks like this. And now that artwork sells for millions and millions of dollars, and a lot of the ideas from it came from masks that people have been making for a long time. When you go to a circus, you might see people dressed up in masks, and this is a famous circus called Cirque de Soleil. And I brought with me a mask that they use in Cirque de Soleil. And that's a pretty wild looking mask. Look at the length of that nose. People make masks out of all kind of material. These are plastic masks. These are masks that are car carved out of wood. So masks can be some really special kinds of art. And here's another mask that's carved out of wood. Only this one's been painted, much like the masks that I showed you a little bit earlier. And here's a really happy mask that's been carved out of wood. So there's many different ways to wake, make masks. People dress up for all kinds of different reasons in a mask. You might have dressed up on Halloween in a mask. And here's some Skybrary books about children dressing up for Halloween. And here's a couple more Skybrary books about dressing up for Halloween. So those are some things you could read that would have masks in them. There's a huge party in the city of New Orleans every year. And they dress up in masks that look like this and they celebrate what they call Mardi Gras. So today we're going to draw a picture of a mask and we're gonna draw a picture of a cat mask that looks a lot like this. So let's get out our pen and on the count of three, take the cap off. Ready? One, two, three. Put the cap on the other end and show me when you're ready to draw a mask. So we're going to start up here and I'm going to start my mask with a curved line like this. Then I'm going to make a curved line underneath it that looks like this. Then I'm going to give it a dot but not color the entire thing in for a pupil. So there's one eye. Now we're going to make another eye with a curve above and a curve below. A little dot just like we did on the other side. Now we're going to make this little triangle shape that you see in the cat mask. So I'm going to come between the eyes and make a little triangle like that. Then I'm going to make the cheeks by coming up a little bit and over and up to the top of the eye. Then the same thing here, I'm gonna curve up and over and up to the top of the eye. Now I'm gonna give some ears. So I'm gonna make an angle line here for an ear. And I'm gonna make an angle line over here for an ear. And then I'm just gonna connect the two ears with a hump for the top of his scalp here. Okay, so now we have drawn a picture of a mask. What's the first sound you hear in the word mask? Oh, one more thing. You have to have something to hold on the mask on. So you might put a little circle there and a little circle here. So that's where you might put a string or a rubber band to hold that mask onto your face. So say the word mask. Say mask. What do you hear first? Mmm, for Mimi Mermaid moving her magic mop. 
Now, what do you hear next? Mask. Ah, whose sound is that? Actress Annie adding. And how do we spell that? With an A, so a circle and a straight line down. What's the next sound you hear in mask? Say it slowly. Mask. Mask. Whose sound is that? S Sadie Seal surfing. And how does she spell it? With an S. Now, what's the last sound you hear in mask? Mask. Mask. Whose sound is that? Either Crazy Camel or Kimmy Kangaroo. And since we're studying Kimmy Kangaroo, mask ends with a K. So I chose that for Kimmy Kangaroo's letter. Now let's put the word mask into a circle and tie our string on. Now what kind of mask is that? We called that a cat mask. So let's draw an arrow pointing to the word mask. And now let's write cat so we can tell what kind of mask it is or describe our mask. Everybody say cat, cat. What do you hear first? K. This time we're going to use crazy camels. K. So show me catching and make a C. What's the next sound you hear in cat? Cat. Whose sound is that? Ah. Actress Annie for adding. Now say it again slowly. Cat. Cat. What did you hear on the end? T. Tickling. Whose sound is that? Timmy Tiger. And how does he spell it? With a T. So now we have cat pointing to mask to describe it to tell us what kind of mask it is. Now we're going to draw a picture of mom dressed up in a cat mask. So we're going to start out by making the mask again. And I'm going to start near the top of my page and try not to make it too big so I've got room to make all of mom's body down here. So I'm going to make two little eyes just like we did over here. Another curve here for an eye. Another pupil. Then I'm going to come between and I'll make a small little triangle. Now we'll give mom some cheeks. So we'll come up and over her eye. And we'll do the same thing on this side. Come up and over her eye. And now we'll give a couple ears. So here's an ear. Here's an ear. And then we're going to finish the scalp. And here's the couple little dots to hold the mask on her face. Okay. So now, here's what's this? Mom's nose. So I'm going to give a little curve for the nose. What's this? Mom's mouth. So I'll give mom a curve for the mouth and put a little curve at each end. Now we're going to give mom some nice curly hair. So I'm going to come here and make some curls here and out to the side. Now we're going to make mom's hair hanging down beside her head. So I'm going to come down here and you can decide how long you want mom's hair to be. Come down here. Now mom needs a jaw. So we're going to go from this right underneath her mouth and back up to this side. Now we're going to make mom's tall hair. So I must come back down here, start curving up. Then I'll do the same thing on this side until I meet here at the top. So there's mom's hair. Now we need to make mom's neck. So we're going to come down here and kind of make where her neck is showing up in her shirt. A little rectangle there. Now we'll give mom a dress. So we're going to start from beside the rectangle, leave a little bit of space and make a curve coming out here, like so. Back up here. Make another curve. And now we'll give her a curve at the bottom, for the bottom of her dress. Now we'll give mom some legs. We'll come over here with two straight lines down, straight line in the middle. 
I'm going to have to switch pens here because that one's running out of ink. So now we give a line across the bottom. And now we can give mom some feet. So we'll come down with a curve, down with another curve. Now what's mom missing? She needs some arms. So let's come back up here. And this arm's going to kind of start from here and then hook back down to here. Because a lot of the arm is where? It's hidden behind her hair. And on the other side, we're going to have the same thing with her arm kind of hidden behind her hair there. Okay, so now this is what did we draw? Mom. And if we're going to call that mom, then that's like her name. So that we need to start that with a capital letter. So let's start with a capital M. Mm -hmm. What's the next sound in mom? Mom. Whose sound is that? Ollie Ostrich. And how does he spell it? With an O. What's the next sound in mom? Mom. M. Only this time, we'll use a small M. Now, it's kind of hidden here, but we drew a picture of mom's arm. And we learned that word with Arnie Aardvark sound. They sing this, A-R is for Arnie, A-R is for Arnie. So when we spell Arnie Aardvark's R sound, what do we begin with? We begin with an A and then an R with a straight line down and a hook. So how many letters does it take for Arnie sound? Two letters. Arm. What do you hear on the end? Mmm for moving your magic mop. And what's mom wearing? A mask. So we need to write the word mask once more. So say mask. M mask. What do you hear first? M for moving your magic mop. So write your M again. What do you hear next? Ma ask. So A for actress Annie. What do you hear next? Mask. S for surfing. And what do you hear last? Blowing a kiss. So there's Kimmy Kangaroo's letter K again. So now we can draw the string to mom's mask. Now we're going to put mom and her mask into a song. And so the song we're going to be using is a song called Mary Wore Her Red Dress. So let me teach you just the first part of it. Here's Mary. She's wearing her red dress. And while she's in her red dress, she's going to pretend to be a red bird. And if you sing it back to me, it sounds like this. Mary wore her red dress. Can you sing that? Mary wore her red dress. Then we repeat that. Red dress, red dress, red dress, red dress. Mary wore her red dress all day long. And what's she doing in her red dress? She's being a red bird. Mary was a red bird, red bird, red bird. Mary was a red bird all day long. And if we sing that along with our recording, it's going to end up sounding like this. Ready? See if you can sing along. Now here's Johnny, and he's dressed up in his green pants. So what do you think his is going to sound like? And what is Johnny going to be in his red green pants? He's going to be a green frog. So let's try that one. Ready? So we'll sing this one, and then we'll sing about Johnny. Right, so let's be Mary again. Ready? Wearing his green pants, so what's he going to be? A green frog. Johnny wore his green pants, green pants, green pants. Johnny wore his green pants all day long. Johnny was a green frog, green frog, green frog. 
frog Thought he was a green frog all day long Okay, well, now we're going to fill out our page for Mary wore her red dress. And so we can get out our paper like this, or if you drew your picture on the back of that paper, you can just simply open up your paper. And now let's put our finger on the words. And we have to start right out with the name of someone. And who did we draw a picture of? We drew a picture of mom. So let's put mom's name in our first circle. What did it start with? Capital M. Mm. What was the next sound? Ah. For Ollie Ostrich. And what was the last sound? Mm. Mom wore. And I already put the word her there. But if you come back and do this page on your own later and you put dad here, you wouldn't put her. It would be dad or his. But because it's mom, it's what? Her. Mom wore her. Now, what kind of a mask did mom wear today? Mom wore her cat mask. So what word do you think we're going to write there? Just like we did on the back of our page, we're going to write cat. What's it start with? K. C for catching. So make a C on the line. What's the next sound? Ka. A. A for adding. And what's the last sound? Cat. T. There's Timmy sound again. T. T for tickling. So now let's go back, put your finger on it, and sing it along with me. Mom wore her cat. And what did mom wear? It's a cat mask. So now we need to write the word mask here again. What was the first sound in mask? Mmm. M for moving your magic mop. What was the next sound in mask? A for adding. What's the la next sound in mask? Mass. S for surfing. And what's the last sound? Mask. So now let's put our finger back here and sing it again. Mom wore her cat mask. Cat mask. Cat mask. Mom wore her cat mask all day long. Now what's mom going to be in her mask? Let's write mom again. Start with your capital M for mom. O for Ollie. M again. So there's mom. Mom was a... I think moms are pretty smart and we know all the sounds in that word. So let's write the word smart. Everybody go smart. What's the first sound? She's going to be a smart cat. Sm. There's Mimi Mermaid sound again. So after your S, write an M. Smar. R. A R is for Arnie. So what's the next sound in smart? R. Um. What's the last sound in smart? Smart. Smart. T. T for tickling. Mom was a smart. What's mom dressed up as? A cat. So what do we need to write there? We need the word cat again. So write your C. K. What's the next sound? Ka. A for adding. What's the last sound? T. Mom was a smart cat all day long. So now what do you need to draw a picture of up here at the top of your page? You need a picture of what? A picture of mom. And what is mom pretending to be? A smart cat. So the same picture that we drew here, we need to put up at the top of our page. And then we'll have a verse for our song. So let's sing it one more time. Mom wore her cat mask, cat mask, cat mask, mom wore her cat mask all day long. Mom was a smart cat, smart cat, smart cat. Mom was a smart cat all day long. So tomorrow, we'll have you show me your picture that we drew uh, here, and we'll learn a new character so we can learn some new words 
and some more drawing and labeling. So I hope you enjoyed that lesson, and I hope to see you in our next lesson.